Hello, Gemini viewers. So the last reading I did, I was getting that there was going to be unexpected new love coming in for you guys. I'm just wondering, has that come in for you guys yet? Are you talking to somebody new? Um, I just want to see where you guys are at with the storyline. There's some kind of faded encounter coming in. Something that's unexpected, something that's destiny, possibly even a life partner. And... You're going to have a sudden choice that you're going to have to make between old and new love. And it does make sense because for this group of Geminis, I've been getting that you guys are in like high priestess or high priest mode. And you have been consistently like, I mean, it's been up and down, of course, but I feel like you've really come into your power over the past year or so. Despite all the struggles, it's like you're, you're the high priestess now, like you're there, you know, or the high priest, you're, you're in your power, you're charismatic you're um a king or queen of wands type energy it's like you're you know you're passionate you're powerful you're so you're gonna have love coming in all at once if you haven't already it's like you have these people that are noticing you and you have for a while like I've been this has been a consistent energy where you guys have secret admirers you have exes that could be showing up out of the blue just People that are really resonating with your energy because because you've ascended so much. <laughs> okay. I'm going to start out with Bibliomancy just really quick, and then I'm going to get into the Oracle card reading. Falling in love with an angel is easy, effortless even. But a fallen angel, without mercy, the experience will wind you tightly within its grip commanding you to shatter until you are but micro shards upon the cold and unforgiving grounds of hell. It is pain like no other and it is sacrifice like no other, but ultimately it's like it is love like no other. For it asks of you these two questions. Can you love without condition and do you stand strong in your faith of restoration? I feel like these two questions are really important for you guys right now. And if you can, in fact, answer yes of the two, then the keys to the kingdom will soon be handed to you. And I feel like this is how someone's going to love you as well, is the energy that I'm getting here. Okay, one more message and then the oracle card reading. They say that as an empath, I have a hard time seeing the bad in people because I am too busy giving credit to all their good. That by now I should have seen you for seen you for who you truly are, that I should have left. But of them I ask, is empathy not greater than apathy and love not stronger than hate? I almost feel like this is someone like an ex so trying to play off your empathy. So I don't know about that one. <laughs> Um, you'll meet that one person in life and suddenly it will become unfair to every other person from there on out because in between the smiles and all the laughter held with someone new, the ghost of that person, the ghost of that one person will always be there whining and dining, whining and dining, making love to and tempting your every thought. I must be like, this is the old person. This is the new person. Okay. Sorry, my allergies are acting up a lot today. So I'm a little bit nasally. But yeah, that's what that's the energy I got two weeks ago. It was like a sudden choice that needed to be made, that you weren't really expecting it. So I'm just wondering like where you guys are at with the storyline right now. Like, has this energy come in for you guys? Um, like what's going on with that? Because hearing your story like hearing from you, like, you know, communicating with me, it helps you it helps me channel you guys in your readings as well to kind of have that clarity as to, you know, what part of the storyline you're at right now. Like, has this new person come in? Because I don't want to keep doing meetings and being like, oh, they're coming, they're coming. If you guys are already past that energy and you they've already come in, you know what I mean? But I want to make sure everyone's caught up before I move on from that, if that makes sense. But anyway, where are we at right now? Let's see what the cards want to say. Keep in mind, too, like, when I do these readings, I just... You know, it's, I just, I put the intention of channeling you and channeling your person. It's just whatever your, the current energy is. I don't ask specific questions, you know, so it is what it is. Sometimes it's very similar to the last readings, you know, it, it's depends on if there's been any shifts or not with your person. We've got happiness, warmth, light, mental instability, new love, faded encounter, publicity, social media.
Sorry, I'm super nasally right now. I took my flow nase, but it's not helping. <laughs> Nostalgia. Longing. I'm getting like a spying kind of energy here. Domination and control. Make your move. Green light. Pride and stubbornness. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. It almost feels like your the exes like happiness, warmth, light, but there's some kind of mental instability that it's like they keep messing it up. They keep sabotaging themselves or they messed it up a lot in the past. Feels like there's a new person that's either just come in or coming in. That's why I want to hear from you guys too, because I want to know where you're at with this story. You know what I mean? Like if you guys have moved past this energy already, I don't want to keep telling the same story. Um but I want to make sure everyone's caught up, like I said. So, yeah, let me know what's going on with you guys. Um, but, but, yeah, it feels like... So there's a new love here. It kind of feels like the ex is watching you on social media, and they're somewhat conscious of this new love. Or they might just notice the energy difference, like watching your social media and noticing that your energy has shifted and that you're putting yourself out there more, like you're more flirty, you're more maybe more sexual... You're not stuck on them anymore like you were in the past. So they're feeling this nostalgia and they're missing you. And they're wanting to control. They're wanting to control the situation. But I don't think you're going to let them this time. I think that they got away with it before. Like they got away with being like dominant and controlling and kind of having their cake and eating it too. It's almost like you're moving on and they're nostalgic and they're trying to drag you back in. And so they're making this move towards you, but it's like the same crap as before. Pride and stubbornness, you know? And if this is your story and you want me to go more in depth into the ex, into the new person, into, you know, career, love, whatever you want to know, just send me an email. My email is right below this video in the description box. Um, my donation links are also below this video in the description box and any donations are appreciated and please subscribe if this resonates with you. Submissive, weak-willed, fast-moving energy, chaos, sudden turn of events. Home, belonging, safe space. Yeah, I feel like... It just feels like two people competing for you. Maybe like telepathically, but maybe physically too for a lot of you. Like, I'm just wondering, like, have you guys been faced with this choice yet? Like, what's going on with that? Um, so it's like someone's being submissive to you almost overnight. It's almost like they were like prideful and stubborn and then like something shifts so it's almost like they're, they realize they're going to lose their home with you. They're going to lose this safe space with you, this sense of belonging, this, you know, connection with you. Like there's like this fear of losing it all of a sudden. So it's like all of a sudden they're, they're submissive, like almost like overnight they get into this energy where they were really dominant and now they're really submissive with you instead. Like they, it's like they, they switched roles very quickly or they're about to switch roles very quickly because they don't want to lose you. So if you're dating someone new, your person might know about it. Like, your ex might know about it even if they're not saying anything. Yeah, because third party, third party energy here for sure. I feel like the ex is the karmic, probably. And the new person is probably healthier for you. The ex just feels like they have too many control issues and too much pride and stubbornness, too much narcissism. Cold, guarded, distrusting. Reconciliation. Yeah, it's like they want a reconciliation, but you're not as open as you used to be. 
you're kind of living your best life now. They don't have you like they used to. So they had to have they have to have this new perspective if they want to win you back. But there's also this fear of rejection, like fear of getting hurt, you know. And it almost feels like manipulation, like they're almost going to pretend to have a new perspective, but there's still some underlying issues here. Like you're being blindfolded here, you know? Some, oh my God, there's something. You're traveling to someone or someone's traveling to you, I think. Some of them, this person might, someone, I don't know, God, is this the ex or the new person? Someone lives out of state. Or like they're traveling right now or you're going to travel and meet them or there's something with travel. Or like vacation, honeymoon, adventure, like, are they like they're wanting this with you. Someone's wanting this with you. It's really interesting. Just feels like someone's gonna get someone's getting jealous. Like you're about to like move on with someone new and someone's gonna get jealous and try to come back and pull you back into their drama because they're not gonna want you to move on. Like they're used to having you and now they don't, so they are kind of forced to be more submissive when naturally they're more dominant. Like they they wanna be prideful and stubborn, but it's like they're they are in that energy, but like then they realize they can't do it because they're gonna lose you if they do. You know, it's like they're trying to play these games with you, like trying to play these head games, trying to trying to drag you back in, trying to make you chase them. And you're just kind of like, uh, no, I'm good. Actually, I'm, I'm manifesting new love instead. Or I've just met someone else. Like, I'm living my best life. Like, I'm good. And they're like leaving that energy because they know they have to be submissive with their feelings. They have to be open with you if they have any hope of getting you back before you're just completely committed to this new person. But it feels manipulative. Like, they're just trying to drag you back into this old cycle with them, you know? And once they have you, they love... This person's narcissistic, and they love being chased is the energy that I'm getting. It's a really... Ooh, it's, an, it's a frustrating energy. I hate... I don't not like that energy at all. It's like... They're going to try to pull you back in like say what they need to say and manipulate you and then when they have you and like you've sabotaged this connection with someone new and you've stopped living your best life like you've gone back to them then they're going to get back in this energy where they're going to try to you know be the like be the one like a power struggle like be the one in control and get you to chase them they love the attention. They're narcissistic, but they're, they're, it's weird. It's like they're narcissistic, but they're actually insecure, if that makes sense. And they want you to chase them. They like that attention. They like that energy. They like, it's like a, it's just an icky energy. Like, I don't think you want that in your life. It's, ugh, it's no good. It's like a domination thing, but it's like, it's not sexy. It's like, they're just, like, they like the control. They like the ego boost. They like the power. You know what I mean? You don't want that. Ugh. Ugh. But, yeah, watch out for that because they're going to try to sabotage this new connection. And you don't want to let them do that. Some icky energy. Just tell me more about the new person. What's going on with that? Vulnerability, receptivity, willpower, strength, confidence. Yeah, this is someone who's like genuinely. It's almost like your ex is like a wannabe alpha. Like they want it. Like they. It's like someone who's like super edgy. Like they. They think they're such a badass and they're really a little bitch is what they are. But this person you're manifesting is like a genuine alpha. It's not someone that's like like male or female. You know what I mean? It's like you're. You're going to understand the energy difference now because I think when you were with the ex, it's like they were super edgy and they're just narcissistic and tried to be the dominant one. And like, I think at the time you were like turned on by it. 
but I think when you're with someone who's like genuinely alpha, like they're not, they don't have to be all edgy and compete with everyone and try to be a little badass. Like they're just naturally like dominant in the right ways. Like you're going to notice the energy difference. You know what I mean? Like genuine alphas do not have to compete with other people. Genuine alphas do not get intimidated by strong women or vice versa, strong men, either way. Like, they just, they know who they are. Like, they, they have genuine confidence. When you're genuinely confident, you don't have to brag. You don't have to compete all the time. You don't have to rub it in people's faces. You don't have to buy a freaking lifted truck to show everyone what a little badass you are. Like, you, they just know. Like, a genuine alpha just knows who they are. Like, they'll just sit back and observe and just be themselves. Like, they just have that much power. You know what I mean? So I think like at the time you were possessed by the, you were possessed. Oh my God. Maybe, maybe this person had some demons around them. Hell, maybe you were, why did I say possessed? What was I going to say? I literally for like, I don't know what I was going to say. I just said like at the time you were possessed. I'm like, wait, what the fuck was I just about to say? Obsessed. Oh my God. Why did I say that? No. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. I don't know what I was going to say. <laughs> Um, I have no idea what I was going to say. Okay. At the time you were like all about that energy. Like you like admired that, like you were like, they had you hooked. You're like, Oh wow. They really are a badass. They really are like, like you just thought they were like everything. You know what I mean? Like they, you're realizing now how insecure they are and how pathetic they are. And in comparison to this new person, you're going to get how, like, just ridiculous your ex was, you know, because you're going to be with someone who's, like, genuinely dominant in the right ways. And you're going to be like, oh, wow, this is, like, a major energy difference because a genuine alpha also knows how to be gentle. Like, they know how to be gentle. They know how to step back. They know how to just, like, because they're because they're confident. You know what I mean? Like, they don't have to compete. They don't have to control everything because they just they know who they are and what they want already. Like. They don't, genuine alphas are not going to, like, lose, like, they're not going to lose their crap if someone rejects them. They're, you know what I mean? Like, they're just going to keep moving. Like, this is, like, a real person. Um, and they're going to be vulnerable with you. And they're going to have, like, genuine confidence, genuine, genuine strength, genuine willpower. Any final messages about this? And like I said, if this is your reading and you want a private reading, just um, send me an email. It's right below in the description box below this video. Please subscribe and donations are appreciated. Yeah, they're going to notice your beauty. They're going to notice that you're different, that you're you're a leader too. You're strong like they are. Your, your energy is going to resonate with them. They're going to be enchanted by you and they're going to want to make you a love offer. This isn't someone who's going to be like, oh, I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm kind of scared. Like, uh, no, this is going to be someone who's like, okay, this person's a catch. I want to make, I want to take the next step. This is someone who's assertive, someone who's confident, someone who's not going to wear a mask. They're going to be real with you. Yeah, open, honest. <coughs> oh my gosh, sorry. Open, honest communication, message, confessing their feelings. Like, Your ex is such an edgy little tool bag. Ugh. Taking it slow, pulling them in, getting to know each other. Yeah, and your ex is going to be spying like a little bitch the whole time, and you're not even going to care. You're going to be like, okay, you're pathetic. <laughs> like, you're like you're going to think they're pathetic. You're not even going to care. You're going to be happy with this other person. Like, But anyway, please let me know if you guys have met this person yet. I'm just curious where you're at with this storyline. So thanks for watching.